Okay, so now our turkey is cleaned on the inside and it's in the pan with about an inch of water. See, can you see the inch of water? So that's that's fine. So I, today I'm just stuffing the turkey with potatoes because one, you don't eat turkey stuffing that's already been in the turkey anyway. I mean, I don't know if people do or not, but you're, you, it's been a long time since we've been told not to do that. So you're just gonna take um, a knife and make a little make a little T or a little cross in your potato and stuff that in. So I've got about four of them in there right now. And I think that that is just to hold a turkey up. And this poor guy, look at this. This is ridiculous. What? Why is it on its side like that? It's. I've never had a turkey like this in my whole life. But that's fine. We'll just work with whatever we've got. So today, I'm actually going to add in a little bit of uh, chicken stock. This is a really good one. It's called uh, McLean, and it's from the Wholesale Club if you happen to be in Canada. So I'm going to take a little bit of... Well, not a little bit, I guess about two good spoonfuls. And I'm going to put that in the water. It's completely unnecessary. You can do that if you happen to have it, that's fine. And I don't want that on the turkey skin, so I'm just going to take that off of there. So then I'm going to take my olive oil and pour that all over the entire bird, all over your whole turkey. And I want to show you how to do this because, you know, it drives me crazy when people make things sound like they're really hard to make and I really cannot stand that. That's a real issue for me. I just want to show you how easy it is to make stuff. So we're going to take our Montreal steak spice and cover the entire turkey with that. See how easy? We're actually almost done. And then this is going to go, this turkey is going to go in the oven for a good seven or eight hours. I'll, I'll leave it in there for the first seven hours and then I'll take the, the lid off because the lid's going to go on. This is the first year that a lid will fit on the turkey. Oh, when it's at that angle, it's not going to fit. Let me, let me see. It fit when we did a trial run. Let me see if it'll fit now. It's not going to fit. So I'm going to have to get tin foil and cover it with tin foil. So now we've got our Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. And we're going to cover it in that. That's delicious. And these are all optional spices. The Montreal Steak Spice... I mean that's always amazing. If you can find that, that's a great thing to have in your in your cupboard. Some years I'll put on the Fireball cinnamon whiskey that's delicious on it, and you can put on um, balsamic vinegar as well. But this year I'm just keeping it really simple because we have a little baby in the family, and we want to keep it as simple as possible. So we're almost done. I'm just going to cover it with tin foil and pop it in the oven for seven hours.